all right farmers welcome back to the channel so today we're gonna to have a look at pigs so what we've got here we've got the pig pasture we've got the pig barn and we've got the pig barn large so you're gonna find all these in the construction menu you're gonna to go to animals down the pigs and we've got them three there so we've got the pig pastures 28 grand to buy that's gonna hold 30 pigs the pig sty not pig barn, pig sty, 109,000 to buy, that's going to hold 108 pigs, and we got the pig sty large, is 164 grand, and that's going to hold 270 pigs, so we've got them placed down here, what you're also going to need to place down, is the manure silo, so with that, you're in construction again, and you want to go buildings, and silo extensions, now there is one in silos, but, this is the big but, the manure heap itself doesn't work. Now, Giants have dropped an update out today, the 1.2 update, that says that is now been fixed. But, it's not on Xbox at the moment of recording this video. So, for the sake of this one, we're going to use the silo extension, manure heap extension. So, that's there, that's going to cost you 25 grand to buy. So, you need to put that in close proximity to your pigsty and then manure is going to come out of the small or large ones not out of the pasture though the pasture doesn't provide manure so that's what we've got from a building perspective so what we've got here on the pasture we've got your food input area you've got your water input area so like the cows and the sheep you've got to put water into the pastures and then on the two larger ones they've already got the water plumbed in so for the pasture you're going to need to give them a drink and then you've got the animal dialogue box there and then what you got over here you got the this is the pig style large you got the food input animal dialogue and then all the way around the other end you've got the slurry output so what you notice with that is the pasture doesn't have a slurry output. So if you want to use that for your organic fertilizing shenanigans, you're not going to be able to use the pasture. You're going to need one of the pigsties. Pigsty large or the normal pigsty, they've both got the slurry output. So over here on the smaller pigsty, you've got the food input there, animal dialogue box there, and down the other side, just a smaller version of the large one, we've got the slurry output. So that's your different options there. And on it, the manure heap extension, you've got two options of getting the manure out. Once it gets put in there in the first place, from my view of pigsties, you can either take a shovel, front loader, wheel loader, whichever you're using, and take it out. Or you can back up a trailer to this icon here, and it will load it for you. So that's a little bit easier than it was on 19. You, know, you even might want to get a belt system on the go. That'll get you, your stuff in a lot quicker. But Giants will give us a nice easy option with these manure heaps. So excellent. So what we'll do now. We'll get some pigs in. Like so. So you've got a couple of different breeds there. Well, you've got three breeds there. And you've got options on both all three of them. You've got two options. You can either buy a brand new just born piglet that costs you 200 each and then a 30 pound delivery charge or the older version is going to cost you 416 each with a 50 pound delivery charge for a six month old so what you see there is four month reproduction cycle so every four months once they reach reproduction age they're going to give you a new piglet so it's the same on all of them so that one there zero months old and then six months old and so on with the berkshire so what we'll do we'll just put some german land raising we'll put five in each that's the pasture we'll put five in the large pigsty and then we'll go all the way around and we'll put five in 
the normal pigsty. Like so. So we've got all our pigs in. They're all there. We'll go into the animal menu. And you'll see there on the food section. Now for the pasture, you've got a total food input of 9,500. Now on the bottom there you can see it says corn and sorghum 50% effectiveness, wheat and barley 25%, soybean, canola and sunflower 20% and potatoes and sugar beet 5% uh, effectiveness. So what you want to do, if you want to get the best reproduction scenario from your pigs, you're going to want to have that split in your food. Now I've done this by using um, trailers of crop now you can use pig food but obviously that can be a bit expensive and maybe we'll look at how much more expensive it is in a different video but for today i've done this just using a trailer so i've got it as close as possible to those ratios now if you want to do the actual bang on ratios for the pasture you're going to need 4750 of corn or sorghum 2,375 or wheat or barley, 1,900 of soy or canola, and 475 potatoes or sugar beet. For the pig sty, the smaller one, you're going to need 17,000 corn or sorghum, 8,500 wheat and barley, 6,800 soy or canola, and 1,700 potatoes or sugar beet. Now for the large pig sty, you're going to want 42,500 corn or sorghum, 21,250 wheat and barley, 17,000 soy or canola, and 4,250 of potatoes and sugar beet. Now, if you can get that bang on, then you have got the perfect mix. But if you're using trailers, you know, you're having to stop, start, stop, start. It's going to be difficult. But if you can get it to as close as possible, you're going to get the health and the reproduction of your pigs up to the best. So that's just a little tip for you whilst feeding them. If you were to come in with a massive trailer of one of those, it will fill it up to the total capacity of the pasture or the pig sty, but then you won't be able to put anything else in. As with the other animals that we've seen so far, there is a total food capacity, not per food type. So just bear that in mind. I know some people have said, oh no, it shouldn't be like that. That just makes it harder. But then this is a simulation game. You know, you're not just going to be able to go and dump, like for the, the large pig sty, it takes 85,000 litres. You're not going to be able to go and dump 85,000 litres of all of those crop types all at once. So, from a more realistic point of view, you're going to have to mix your ratios, so we say. You know, because space is at a premium with everything. So, what we've done there, we've got all that in. So, what we'll do... We'll go put the water into the pasture because this is what it's going to need. The other two don't. As I said before, they've already got the water plumbed in. So that's something you want to bear in mind when you're picking one of these. So we'll load. Now, oh, turn it on. Now we'll load. There we are. Load the water in. There we are. And then also, to get manure, like with cows you're going to need to put straw in. Now, there's no icon dotted around any of these pigsties for straw. What you need to do with that is put it in where you would normally dump your food. So, I've got a trailer full of straw right by the side of it. So, we'll back up a little and we'll get the straw in. It's got 52,000 litres in. We'll put it all in we'll see what we got at the end so we'll do the smaller pigsty first although it's not actually called small pigsty it's just pigsty pigsty and pigsty large i've got to stop saying small pigsty right so we put that in there we have to go all around the back because i've placed them two cliffs right so we'll drive all the way around now if you don't want to get manure out of it then don't put straw in. That's a little tip for you. You know, you need to have straw to get manure. So we'll unload that. And that should be everything filled up. There we 
are. Right, so back into the menu. So we got there, you got the pasture. So it's got full 3,000 litres of water and the full lot of food. Pigsty has got 15,000 litres of straw and 34,000 litres of food. And the large pigsty has got 37,000 litres of straw. So that's not completely full, but it has got 85,000 litres of food. So that's going to keep them going quite nicely for a while. So what we'll do, we're going to fast forward it. Just have a little look to see what's going on. So I'll see you in a bit. Right, so we fast forward it a month. Let's have a look in the menu. So we've got the pigsty has got 455 litres of slurry. And then we've also got 455 litres of slurry in the large pigsty. So whichever one you're going to use, if you've got the same amount of pigs in, now we've got the same breed of pigs here, so we'll take a look at what is the better breed in another video. But from a building perspective, you're going to get the same amount out of how many pigs you've got in there. So one month, it's done 25% on the reproduction. So let's take a look, see how much we get in the manure pit. It's got a bit of manure there. So we've got 718 litres of manure. So that's going to take it from both pig styles, not the pasture. So obviously you don't get slurry or manure from the pasture. So what you're going to use this for is just straight up breeding. So if you want to breed your pigs, some fresh bacon sandwiches running around that's what you use the pasture for if you want the fertilizing organic manure slurry type situation you're going to want one of the pig styles so what we'll do I'll fast forward a bit till we get some little piglets okay so we're now in june a nice sunny day shall we say it's chucking it down the rain and we've had some newborns so we're going to menu so they've all reproduced so we had the five original now we've got the five newborns in each pen so what that's going to do is it'll have a, a snowball effect so once they're old enough to start reproducing you'll have 10 reproducing and then so on and so on so be that as it is if you've got these smaller pasture or the smaller pigsty you're going to want to keep an eye on that because once it reaches maximum capacity they'll stop producing so when you get close you're going to want to start selling some that wouldn't be great if they had a butcher if they had a butcher shop you could take your animals to that would be ace now i know my wife likes pigs and she's probably gonna really give me a dirty look when she sees this video because she loves pigs but just look at them bacon sandwiches fresh bacon sandwiches in the field excellent so what have we got on the slurry situation? So we've fast, fast forwarded four months. We got the pigsty there. We've got 19,046. Obviously nothing in the pasture. And then 19,046 in the large pigsty. So as I said before, building wise, not going to make a difference on what it produces from your fertilizing side. And then the manure heaps coming on nicely we've got 3035 litres of manure sitting there ready to go so that is about it for the basics on the pigs you can use your large one you can use the normal or the pasture entirely up to you entirely up to you which breed you want to go with but that being said for pigs that's me done and i'll catch you in the next one